Welcome to part 5 of The Walking Dead. Today's part, we're going to end episode 1. I've got a few cans of gas if you could pick up in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over here. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those... Really now? Pharmacy. Hmm, that was Wait here luck. for a sec. I've got to do something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me think. He's just juggling with the axe. Hold on, let me think. Let me think. Hey, Larry, you see what I can do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that right, right next, right next to, to the guy, to a farmer loading up his shotgun, just saying, "I want to talk to that boy. I just want to talk to that boy. I just want to talk. <laughs> I just want to talk to him." Loads shotgun with malicious intent. One of those guys, one of those guys has cocks axe with mission intents. I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I oh, I feel that. Hmm. Back to the motor. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. For anything. Good, man. I'm gonna see how long you hold to that. Man, I respect you. I hope nothing bad happens to you, Glenn. No, I did. <laughs> Why the hell would you do that? <sighs> you found a baseball, Glenn. <laughs> Why'd you ask? No, I hate the sport. No. Why do you ask? No. Oh, no, no reason. <laughs> Lee and that mid-walk animation just oh, stuck there. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> no alcohol. Jeez. <laughs> hmm. Well, you, 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 you oh, where, guy. Where's, where's Frank West when you need him? Yeah, well, that guy's dead. Recording. I assume, anyway. They eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Hmm. Yeah, I think so too. What do you think? A couple months? Years? Years. Decades? Uh, we're not gonna stop anytime soon, are we? Nope. Nope. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah. Remote. I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. And I don't know. So they're removing his pocket the time he has. Strange guy, Dad. I know. Apparently, he admits it. Oh, yeah, you can oh. respect those. Oh, the TV store. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that guy over there has the key. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's connecting the dots. Oh, that's his brother that was. Uh... Mm, he's stuck there, pin. Well, his parents were just probably already walking around as well, they're probably. Or end up being. Would have been devoured. I think they're already dead. Mm. As in On the dead, TV. Dead. Yeah. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? He throws it. <laughs> uh, that's not all I can do. <laughs> Damn it, Doug. Oh, it is a universal remote. Mm. You can just do that. Look at the look at the zombies who cross the road as across oh, from the crosswalk. They are still. Some of them are anyway. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dog nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Well, I love this show. Oh man, it's great. But not enough. They hate the reruns. Or they just don't like that. They don't like the emergency services either. <laughs> Take a break and throw it at one of them. 
Tonk. What are you doing? Awesome. I don't have the key. Or know the combination. You can tell how things are going to go because... Lee just kind of opened up a can of worms just by doing that. Yep. Because before they couldn't actually... Oh, once you step in, that's it. One hell of an arm. Black Friday. Be careful. Fridays are versions of zombies, aren't they? Mm. People are monsters. Lack of each humanity, other. Humanity stomp each other and possibly other employees to death. Some marks. And you and you need security gates to keep at all times, or else uh, they're just gonna break down the damn doors. Mm-hmm. Don't yell, you fucker! I'm busy! Got the keys to get back. Yeah, ain't more for the head instead of the neck. This way, I'm gonna chop his fucking head off. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know we were suddenly in France. There you go. There we go. There you go. There's a chunk. Uh. Now where's the damn key? You know, usually have in movies like this where it's like, you know, sure, the main hero usually doesn't have much connection or they don't see their parents or they don't have to kill their zombie parents. But, like, just the fact that you got to kill your own flesh and blood. People you knew. You know? Yeah, someone you knew. Mm -hmm. Like, sure, so most of the time it's like the people that you've uh... seen through the movie or through the show that get possessed, and that's fine for the Since most part. The gates now but it's more like people that are just like, you know. God. Wait, was there a back end of doors in there to this place? Yeah, there's more than one way out. Why could they so, use that entrance that X to do the show? Can we just show that the doors are for a walk now? Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. <laughs> it turns out they didn't even have them in stock. Oh, the alarm. We gotta hurry. I'm surprised that's still functioning. Yeah. All the zombies in the fucking dinner bell. Oh, is it lunchtime <laughs> yeah, already? Is that, Ooh, messy. Is that a knife or some shit in, in that woman's chest? In the Good driver. Good driver, yeah. In, in the shoulder. Always make sure you know how to use your shiv. Just one it is coming around, even though it's like a foot in the, in the front. Oh no, oh no, there they are, there they are. Everyone out the back door, now. Yeah, hell do we, you know. Just take the pills, take Larry, and let's get the hell out of here. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right <coughs> Go! Go! <laughs> uh, Mr. Aziz, but in the uh, Marvel zombie comic. <laughs> Parker, you're late again! How can it probably. <laughs> Just eat <easy. laughs> 
three. Get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Mm. Stay away from the window. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> Get your ass back out of that door. Yeah, this option here. Uh... Look at this man. Just holding down a whole barricade of zombies. Hey, desperation oh, does things. Oh, his father's cane. Daddy, don't fail me now. God damn it, Doug. Uh, how did you manage that? Just beat him with the gun. Now, uh, who do you save? Uh, yeah, here's another uh, option. The bro or the lady with the gun? Huh. Yeah. Hard choice. What do you think, Liam? Oh, the boss news of the gun. Uh, best case scenario, you shoot that zombie, shoot that zombie, then turn around and shoot the oh. ones that dug, but... Oh what the hell was that? Yeah. That's not hey, really. That's in the game. Damn, Doug really is a cool guy. <laughs> hey, with the screwdriver. Let's get the hell out run, of here. Run, run, run! And then Lee trips. Dude, come on! Thank you, Kenny. Friend. Yeah. Thank you, Kenny. Oh boy. Jesus. So when do we kill the douchebag? Don't worry, don't worry. If dies, have dies, somebody will. We will. Fair enough. His heart probably will get the best of him. Another <laughs> back of the motel, <laughs> y'all. Man, these voluntary cleanups are getting out of hand. Hmm. First it's trash. Now it's corpses. God, I wish I had a pair of thick gloves if I ever had to do that. Hmm. Yeah. But the radius are gone there is still. Oh shit. Something's going on down there. Again, America. I swear there's more, I swear there sometimes there's more guns than people there in this is country. A, there is a There's like a, I think for every like one hundred people there's hundred and thirty guns there is a That doesn't surprise me. Hundred and forty, I forget the number is, but like it's more than it's more than one per person it is. I think I need to go. Who would learn? Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here and know that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening. Oh, he's even just got comic books. Oh, he's Avengers. Stay high to the show for me. My chances. Mm -hmm. Oh, and for the love of God, avoid baseball bets. <laughs> Don't ask how I know. Look, just, just avoid you, it. If you feel dark feeling. energy with a man called Negan, run. Especially if the basketball's <laughs> named. Do. Do not go near. Go the opposite fucking direction. Listen, you know that child's game, Eeny Meeny Mine Go? Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We try. And we never see him again in the games. Oh. Nope. Because he has his own plot in the story. Yeah. Are you just gonna let them? 
But yeah, it kind of sucks. Is like this is the only chance we have something like this where we have a character introduced here that's like you know, okay, I'm gonna go off and do other things with other media. I swear that radio broadcast is just on a loop. I think it probably is. It probably is. Shit happens. Shit happens. <laughs> yeah. That is the most <laughs> appropriate bumper sticker. Yeah. Hey kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. So wondering if you've been a dick to him, what would have Ruby to him to save you exactly? He would still save you. He would just, his, his dialogue would just be different. Uh, yeah, he says, probably I'm, more uh, begrudgingly. Like, you know, he's just, I, I like, like you, but I'm not an asshole. I'm not going to let anyone else die today, even if he is an asshole. Yeah. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. <laughs> I know, it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... In the side possibly, you, 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 you could have shot the zombies behind him, but grabbing him, possibly. In the moment. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. and Thanks everything could happen so quickly. I death in the past few days. Anyway, yeah, like, honestly, if Lee still had the hatchet, I feel like he would have, you know, helped Carly a lot faster now. He would have saved Doug, but, no, you have to make a choice. If only, if only I had the pillow. But... How did you choose? Well, he had the if what? I kept, if I kept the pillow, I could have saved him. <laughs> Doug, Doug, throws the pillow. At the zombies, and they're like allergic to the feathers or something. Brian, you just, just does. Brian, you just gave me the weird image of a zombie breakout in hives. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Here's a question: Will it nerve agent take out the zombies at all? Not? No. Douchebag. Because when he when he was Tim goes just just turn off the brain and when you turned off the brain and when ring, then just kills the brain off. Not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. He didn't give it back? We must chase him. That douchebag! Alternate timeline. What if Lee went after Glenn and he came into the freaking, uh, to the comics less show that way? <laughs> It's funny you mention that, Brian, because it was confirmed. The prison Lee was going to was the same prison that Rick ended up in. Oh. Like, Rick and his group, the prison that they end up going to and setting up shop and actually making it a decent uh, community for a little while, that was the same prison Lee was heading to. <laughs> Things turned out differently. He did that. Because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? You can just tell he's a dick by looking at his red text. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. What about what about the boy? What about the nah, boy? Can die. I don't give a damn. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. And he tried to kill me. Yeah, so fuck him. <laughs> yeah, I saved him with the damn pills and he freaking knocks my lights out. Mm. We're lucky to have you. <laughs> you are. Tell your dad oh. that. Every character, you know, most of most of the time in zombies are like, you know, everybody's supportive of each other, at least they know how to work together. Of course there's always gotta be that one contrarian slash douchebag that always hates regardless of what's happening or just causes issues mm -hmm. just makes it very clear that they don't like specific members yep hi shane we got light nothing to worry boom 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 damn it hope too soon yep there it is 
Oh, well, there it is. How to say it? Well, shit. Well, let's not care ourselves. The power will be the first thing to go in Apocalypse. Next time on The Walking Dead. Next time on EFC's Walking Dead commentary. <laughs> you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Connie. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Oh, the fuck of the flushing. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for oh, no. from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. It's like I just realized what next chapter is about. <laughs> It's about us finding a friendly group of people that wants to help us. Yes. And then coming across another group of people who are equally friendly and oh, nice God. to us. See? They gave us an arrow. Oh, he got hit with the hills already freaking glitched! <laughs> oh, it's him! Uh, Where is that? Where is that? Where is that character? And this is us returning the favor of helping the people that helped us. So starved for help. Ha. And like with the other episodic games, there's credits for each episode. I'm just including the credits mm. for the final episode. Wow. That's fair. Wow, this is a lot, e a lot more even than I thought it would be on all cases. What if you put Patush Dog over Crony? Okay. Interesting. Wow. I guess a lot of people play the game so many times they're running what option would be the best or more morally correct option to pick exactly yeah. At this point it's more like playing through the game again. It's like, okay, let's see every other option. Yeah. yeah. Again, that's what I mentioned before, is it's funny when you do a playthrough when you're nice to certain characters and then a dick to to others, and then the next episode you swap you swap the order. Yeah. I did a playthrough of The Walking Dead where I was nice to Kenny for four episodes, but for one episode, I was a dick to him, and he did not let that go for the rest of the playthrough. Oof. Remember that like, one time you were when dick. I told you how are you and you didn't respond? God. You're a dick. Why didn't you respond, Lee? 